Hey Vicky, I just wanted to go over the photosynthesis and cellular respiration digital escape the room. As I told you yesterday on Twitter, this is the first one I think I did um, once I learned how to do this. But uh, you know, the web address is right here. It brings you to this page. And um, I always start with some type of narrative. Uh, so here's my scenario, which you could read. Um, and then there's the lock form. I always tell the kids to click on the top right of the lock form and I show them this and I go over this uh, at the beginning uh, because if they don't separate the lock form with the uh, escape the room then they will be uh, closing out this uh, lock form throughout the uh, experience so it's it's good to have them in two different tabs but as you can see the lock form goes over the types of locks. Um, this gives them the type of lock. So it's kind of a hint in itself as to what they're going to be doing. So the directional lock, they're going to be using this key right here to put in their answers. And if the answer is correct, this will stay green. If it's incorrect, it will turn red. Um, but I'll go through each one of these real quick. And you can see if it makes sense to you. If it's something that you want to use, great. If not, at least now um, you've been exposed to one. So I'm going to hop back to the photosynthesis site here. All right, so all these are clues down below, but there's also a hidden one up here. Um, the word note is underlined and it's hyperlinked. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on that. And I always force copy a document so they can't change my um, Google Doc. So they'll hit make a copy and this will kick um, them to this letter. Uh, and in here, um, this is kind of the reason why the scientist that was in the opening narrative uh, is doing what he's doing. But as you can see um, in here, uh, there's underlines of the ups, the downs, uh, the rights, and I think there's a left somewhere. There you go. So this actually gives them the first um, uh, code for the, the form. So it's up, up, down, uh, right, left. So if we go into uh, our form and everything's in caps, up, up, down, right, left, and we click off of it, notice how it doesn't come up with an error message. If it was uh, the wrong thing, I just clicked off of this box. It says, this is a required question. It's not correct. Okay, so that's how you could tell if it's wrong. So let's go into our next clue. So now we go back into our escape the room. I can get rid of this letter. Uh, go down. And there's four different things down here. So if we go ahead and click on the leaf, it's going to ask you to make a copy, which we will do. And it brings up this crossword puzzle. So real quick uh, about this crossword puzzle, you can notice that the highlighted boxes, they're going to make a secret word. Um, when you use those letters, I think it um, throws out the word plant. So it would be a word scramble, and they would come up with the word plant. They would go back into the word lock here, and they would type in plant in capital letters, click off of it, and it's correct. All right. One thing I have to point out here is that this video right here will kind of help them with all three clues. I usually don't tell them that until they struggle a little bit. Um, and then they kind of figure it out that this, since there's no uh, lock associated directly with this, uh, they'll figure out that this is where they can find some information that will help them with all three. So let's move on to our next. Uh, clue. Okay, so we're going to click on the little uh, um, chloroplast down here. And this is going to bring up the jigsaw puzzle. 
Now, when I go here, it's going to to show the whole thing um, because I created this. But rather than me put 24 puzzles together, I'm just going to move this down um, and show you this. Uh, so here's the photosynthesis occurring in two steps. It's a diagram. And then over here, I give them a bunch of choices. So um, if we look here, uh, A, the reaction that does not require light. All right, so what we do is we'd look in here. Uh, we would find that um, reaction that does not require light, which is number two. And we would put the number two in here. And we would fill out all these questions. Once again, this is in the video. Uh, but the answer for this one, um, if we go back to our form, is going to be 2, 1, 5, 6, 3, 4, 4, 7. And that would be the correct answer for that one. So I will point out that when they get this, uh, it says the order for the lock is right here. So that order is important. Uh, so if they're struggling with finding the correct code, this is a clue that you could give them. I would wait to give them this until after they struggle for a little bit, because if we spoon feed them every single answer, then uh, some of the kids say it's boring and it's just us telling them what to do. They like to struggle a little bit. All right, so let's go back out to our website and we'll go to the next one. All right, so let's continue on here. The mad scientist is just the mad scientist. There's nothing to connect there, but let's click on the map here. And this is going to take them on a tour. Popo Valley is where I teach at, so that's where I started them. You can make up your own reason why to start there. You're meeting up with a friend, whatever you want. Um, and then our first stop is Greece, where Aristotle is, and this is the Humus uh, theory. So if you click on the Google uh, document here, we can make a copy. This one's actually pretty cool. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this um, because it, your computer screen has to be the right way. Um, but just in case you can, if you scroll over top of it, um, this is kind of using... Uh, red acetate paper for a red reveal, um, if you've ever done that lab. But uh, there's a secret message behind it says pay attention to the highlighted numbers on this page. So if they go down here, the number is 22, so they would write this down. Um, this is kind of fun because they often struggle, they're not aware of what this is, and then once they figure it out, then they get excited about it. So. Um, so 22 is the first one, then they would go back to Tour Builder, they would go to the next one, which is Brussels, Germany, with Jean-Baptiste, um, and they would click on that one. They would make a copy of it, and they would do the same thing, where they go over the uh, message, pay attention to the highlighted number, so this is another number one, so they would write down three. And they would keep going through the tour builder um, and hopefully pick up some of that information of all the, the scientists that contributed to photosynthesis in one way, shape, or form. And as they got through with all that, uh, out, they would go in here and they would type in 22.3 and the last two were PG. And we have that one. So that leaves us our last uh, clue which is our equation, and we can go over that one. All right, so let's click on the equation. We make a copy. Uh, this one is just a quiz, basically. So um, here they can learn about the reactions. So they would go and they would um, get the information on the reactions, and here they would take their quiz. So they would click on the hyperlink. Um, and then they would read the questions based on the information that they just learned. So put these in order. BCA. We hit the next one. And notice here it says, good job, keep it up. Well, the next one's a directional lock. 
So every time they get the answer correct, there's going to be um, some type of direction there, which they'll need to write down. All right, so the next one, uh, what is the net gain of ATP and glycolysis? They invest two, they get out four for a net gain of two. Put that one in there, we hit next. It says when you're right, you're right. So they'll write the two rights down. Um, how many ADPs are created in the mitochondria? Uh, two, we hit next. Um, answer all the questions until no questions are left. So that was our next direction. And the last one is 34. Um, so 34 uh, down. And I'm sorry, this one's the last one. Total number of ADPs created in all three processes from one glucose is 38. Uh, obviously, um, this is what our book says. I've seen this at 32 or, um, 36 to 38, so depending on your book, you might want to um, adjust that a little bit. You hit next, and it says, congrats, you've completed the quiz. Hopefully you realize that I provided you uh, directions along the way. So that's an extra hint. As long as they don't hit submit there, they can hit back and go through each one of these with their answers there, and they can get all the directions. If they did hit submit, what they're going to have to do is go back and retake the quiz. And... Um, I've never had an issue. Some kids, you know, they're like, oh, I messed up, whatever. They get over it and they have fun with it. So the last thing that we need to do is come back in here. Um, up, right, right. Uh, left, I believe. Down. And that would be our last one. And we would hit next. And it says, uh, you saved all oxygen breathing organisms from Dr. Soup. They hit submit. And that's it. So... If you use this uh, site as is, their registry will be sent to me. They're not, I'm not collecting any emails or names or anything. You don't need to worry about that. And you could get, just tell them to show you the, uh, the, you know, congratulations, you saved all oxygen breathing organisms from Dr. Stu. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, hopefully you see value in this, and if you want, you could use it. It's up to you. Uh, if you want to create your own, I do have a video series that I did for Escape the Rooms for professional development at my school. I can uh, give you uh, those video links as well, if that's something that you would want. Uh, but I hope you have a great weekend, and I will hopefully be in touch with you.